Hello everybody and welcome to part 7 of this animation series. This time I would like to go a bit further with wheel animations. So you see I have one wheel here and I have a plane which uh, has some bumps in it. So first I do the same as in the previous video, I make this wheel roll and if you don't know how to do it, I would recommend you look at part 6. So I will do this very quickly, I will speed it up. So let's see what we have. First, what I don't like is the revolve modifier is uh, parented to the wheel. I want to parent it to the locator. Next, we need to change the radius. I happen to know that this is 0.2 meters as well. Now let's check if it works select the locator, W key and we don't get a key small. Uh, that's a problem here, visibility. So W key again and the wheel rotates as we would expect. But as you see it just keeps the same position and it sinks into this plane mesh here. I turn off the grid so it's better visible. It sinks in, it stays always on the same height. Let's uh, put this back to zero. like so and change the shape of the locator a bit. So display locator shapes, shape custom, I want a cone solid along the Y and I want to have it 0.2 meters here and zero here and then we can give it a little bit a different color default user maybe something slightly bluish so we know it is a controller and not something else and i forgot something i want to replace the style so so far so good. Now I will try to rig this wheel completely and then duplicate it. So let's start by adding a locator uh, and I rename this one Okay, I click here, bring in, uh, and then with the locator still selected, I shift select the wheel, go to setup, match and align item position, and it snaps to here. Then I will move this just also inside the main locator and with this new locator selected I select the ground and go to modifiers intersect surface and I have a new one and then I can select I put it into here as well
and then I can select the wheel and select this new locator and make a position constraint and uh, I undo this because I should have turned on compensation position constraint now it stays and thanks to Alex Tango and Richie UK there is an easier way to uh, keep this stable than I used with my valve and cam tutorial so I select this position constraint go to the properties add output options and make the opacity of X and set that wasn't a good idea to zero. Now this wheel or this uh, locator may only move in one direction, namely up or down. Let's check this. W key and you see it moves very nicely. without snapping or so, it's nicely following the surface. So, go back to the main locator, position it to, sorry, zero. And now, thanks to another tip, I will select these two locators shift select and then go to display put the size to zero and it will always have the same uh, size okay now I put everything into one group let's see except this one is OK. I select everything here. Control G, make a group. Call this group, rename this group to uh, Wheel Assembly. Then I right click on it, say duplicate hierarchy, W key, and bring this to maybe 500 millimeters. Select both these assemblies, W key, and Control Z. No, and duplicate hierarchy and bring them in top view so it is about the same distance, like so. Drop the two. Then I select these four wheel assemblies, Control G to make another group. Make sure we haven't selected anything so I can rename it to left wheels. Then I select this duplicate hierarchy W top view again and bring them to about here. Drop the tool and now everything is finished and it should move along and each individu individual wheel sorry that was the wrong one I need this locator should turn and 
follow the surface as it does nicely here. Let's get rid of the locators. Uh, visibility, don't show locators, don't show texture locators, don't show centers. And now we can select this one, W key. And you see everything looks good. If you want to, you can look uh, through the camera, like so, and then take the camera and parent it to the main locator. And now if we move this, we will always be at the same distance and you can also animate this. So, thanks again for watching. Take care. I hope you liked it and have fun modeling with Modo. See you some other time. Bye-bye.